Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? I'm not having that. I'm not. I'm not. Look at this. Look at this for a goal right now. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the FIFA 22 at Manchester City career mode. And today's episode, guys, we're going to go ahead and sign a fourth centre-back in the summer. Went ahead and sold Nathan Ake. So right now... We need a sense back to replace him. Now, last episode then, guys, we did get a massive offer in for Raheem Sterling, over 100 million. However, that offer didn't end up going through. We got two more offers, and eventually one finally did get accepted and actually went through. And with that money, went ahead and signed Leroy Sane. And so coming up then in today's episode, guys, not only are we going to go out and make a sign, we've also got games in the Champions League coming up. So right now, we've got round of 16, and I'm pretty confident we'll get through these games. So we might have a game in the quarterfinals in today's episode. And in terms of the Premier League table, well then guys, we are top of the table right now, 5 points clear, Spurs in 2nd place with 52 points, Liverpool 7 points behind us, so right now we've got a pretty decent lead. And just a heads up then as well, we're going to get through plenty of games in today's episode guys, I'm not going to lie, I want to get through pretty much now towards, you know, closer towards April if anything in today's episode, so we've got a lot of games coming up, so make sure you stick around and see the results from each one. But just before we do, go ahead then and get to your guys' comments from the previous episode. If you guys are looking forward to today's episode, let me know, hit the like button down below. And also guys, if you're new here, you want to see more videos like this, not just Man City, we do your Brazil career mode, we do a player career mode, we've got quite a few things going on at the moment, hit the red subscribe button down below. And so let's go ahead then and get to your guys' comments from the previous episode. And don't forget guys, when I get your comments featured, leave them down below in the comments section but into the first one here which says give Mbappe the number seven and then Sane the number 11 and now you guys know that that's what we've already got so I'm happy you guys agree um obviously I weren't too sure if you guys wanted to maybe see Sane in the number 19 but considering you guys are happy, I'm happy leaving it at, you know, Mbappe number 11 and Sane number 7. I know to the next comment then for today's episode, which says, Please utilise skill moves more in crucial moments of the game. They do help instead of always ball rolling. And you know what, guys? This is one thing I really do want to improve. Now, I'll let you guys know um, a little bit of a behind-the-scenes story. So, last year, when I did a PSG career mode on FIFA 21, I knew I'd be using the likes of Mbappe and Neymar. And I thought, you know what? When I'm doing this career mode, I've got to use a few skill moves. So... I went into the arena, I think I even went on a few skill games as well, trying to learn different skill moves from tutorials on YouTube. And the only two that I managed to, you know, master, it's not even anything major, but is the ball roll and the heel to heel. So they're, they're really the only two skill moves that I know pretty much every player in the game can do, uh, as long as you've got a two-star skill move. So, yeah, that's the only two I know, but I do plan on learning more. It's just finding the time to sit down and really get to know them and here we go then guys into the final comment for today's episode now apologies if you can hear fireworks going off i don't know why there's fireworks going off i mean it's the third of the december as i'm recording this so i don't know what there is to celebrate but here we go into the final one which says i think Leroy Sane is a good sign and he is going to improve your team's goal scoring and it's going to create chances for Foden to score i really enjoy your videos thank you and honestly guys all your support on these videos is amazing obviously the, the comments honestly i love reading them when I do get a chance every single day. But yeah, I agree. Sane, really good signing. As you can see, um, eight games played, three goals, two assists already, which isn't a bad return considering he only just came in in the last episode. Now then, guys, let's get down to business in today's episode. Now, a centre-back we definitely do need in the squad right now. We've got three centre-backs. Our fourth one is a, it's about 64 rated, so we definitely need a new centre-back in. And now I don't think we've got enough time to try and scout both of these players. So if anything... So just going to have to go ahead and decide and make the signing without knowing their overall or what they're worth. Okay then guys, so the signing that I did want to go ahead and make is this guy here, Timber from Ajax. Because I actually was looking for a player that can play out from the back, so good short passing. And this guy I believe has 77 short passing, which isn't bad for a centre-back. I think only centre-backs that have got 80 or above is Jules Kunde and... Oh my god, I'm trying to fit it. Tep Sober. They're the only two with 80 plus short passing when you start career mode. So Timber had 77, so I thought that's not bad. Fits Man City. However, um, the player's too important, the club won't sell him. So if anything, I'm going to go with our second choice right now, which is Thiago Diallo. Uh, made the move to Burnley, starts at Lille, and he's got good pace, guys, which is something I don't think we have. Um, obviously, we've got Kyle Walker, don't get me wrong, and, you know, not bad pace, but this guy really does have pace. So, and he's got good height as well, 6 up 3. So let's go ahead and try and sign him. So now we're going to go ahead then and get into the contract talks, guys. So originally for the transfer, I offered 10 million. Sean Dyche came back with, um, I think, 13 plus a 20% sell-on, which I wasn't agreeing to. Ended up getting him for around about, I think it was 15 plus a 5% sell-on. Or it might be 13 and a 5% sell-on. It's not much either way. So let's go right now. Let's try and get him on 
Ideally, I get him on prospect, but um, he might want rotation, which I wouldn't be against, but I don't know how much game time he would get. Okay, prospect, he's happy with that. Three-year deal. I'm going to try and push for a five-year deal here, because again, I want him to be a future centre-back for us. And, okay, he wants to for a three-year deal. Fair play, a fair play, three-year deal. Let's accept, disregard at least clause. Now into the wage, 47 plus the sign-on bonus. You know what, guys? I'm not going to mess around here. Let's just go ahead and accept. Here it is then, guys. Our new signing into the club, Thiago Diallo. And again, look at that. 87 sprint speed, guys. 85 strength and 81 acceleration. Again, we're going to work on the passing because, again, at Man City, we are going to play out from the back. But that could easily be done with a development plan. So, again, I think we paid, what? Yeah, 50 million plus the 5% sell-on. Which I don't think is a bad deal. So straight away then guys, going to get him on ball playing defender. As you can see, it's going to increase his weak foot as well, which is great to see. Short passing is 70, so it's not bad to be fair. It's already quite decent. 65 long pass as well. So again, just needs working on and yeah, easily done. And let's go ahead then and get some games in today's episode guys. The first one taking on Everton in the second leg of the Carabao Cup. Should be a straightforward win. We won the first one 1-0. Second leg, there you go. 1-0 win once again. And Bappe missing a pen. That seems to happen quite often. Maybe I've taken Pape off the pens because he seems to keep missing them. But there we go. We're through to the final. And into our next one in, guys. We're back in the Premier League right now. Looking for our first win in today's episode. Taking on Brentford. And as you can see, I've rotated the side quite a lot. Diallo going to come into the squad as well for his debut. Can he get the win? We're at home as well. Should be getting a win here. And there we go. Two and win. Ruben Diaz and Mbappe with the goals. And straight to the game after that then, guys. We're taking on Norwich right now. And I did say in today's episode, we're getting through quite a lot of games. So here we go. Another game. Should be another win, pretty much. And, okay, there we go. 2-0 win. Bernardo Silva and Grealish scoring the goals. And here you guys can see then, we have got a scout report for Timber, who, of course, we couldn't be able to sign. I just want to show you guys right now his short passing, which is, um, okay, you can see that 80. So, he's already grown this season. So, again, he wouldn't really fit Man City. And now to our first one then in the Champions League. Round of 16, guys, taking on Siglo Rovers. And to be fair, guys, we should be getting the win over both legs. And now I'm going to start with our strongest team. Hopefully get a good, you know, first leg in. Then the second leg, we're going to try and rotate it a little bit. Play, you know, some different players. But here we go. Quick seven minutes right now. Should get a good 3-4-0 win. And wow, okay, 2-2. Two, two. Rodri with red card. Not what I expected, I'm, I'm going to be honest. And last episode then, we did go ahead, put a development plan on Leroy Sane. Converting from a right mid to a right winger. I doubt it's going to do anything, but let's take a look. And okay, it does do something. It's now 87 rated. That is good to see. Um, there we go. Done. So after that 2-2 draw then in the Champions League, guys, now we're back to the Premier League once again. Taking on Spurs, who actually dropped down now into fourth place, which I'm quite surprised of. We're at home, so let's take the most and let's take the advantage of this right now, pretty much. And here we go. 3-2 win. Mbappe missing another pen. Mbappe missing another pen. Sarno with a goal. Foden with a red card. Sarno with two. Did he get a hat-trick? No, Foden with a goal. So we've missed two pens already in today's episode. We've got two red cards already. What? What's going on? And now into our next game, guys. Going to be taking on Fulham in the Carabao Cup final. You guys see we got a 1-0 win against Everton earlier on. So that's 2-0 over the two legs. So we're into the final. Fulham beat Arsenal here to get to the final. So fair play to them. But let's quick sim this right now. Of course, Foden red carded. Let's just replace him. And are we going to get the win? And there we go. 4-2 win. Took us till extra time, though. Fair play to Fulham. Um, Mbappe with two goals. Did he get a third? Did, okay, no. Jesus and then Sane with the goals as well. So, there we go. Our first trophy. And now then, guys, into our next one. Going to be taking on United in the FA Cup. Now, in today's episode, we're playing in pretty much every single competition. But, uh, yeah, taking on United. We are going to play them after this in the Premier League if they're still second place. Because, again, I want to try and create, you know, a bigger gap between first and second. United are in second place. Here we go. Quick sim this. Should be getting a win. Should be getting a win at home. And there we do. We go to pens though. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Stones with the winning penalty. Madison scoring. Not scoring, sorry, for United. Um, who scored the two goals? And it was Rodri with red card once again. What is it with Rodri getting red cards in today's episode? Foden with goal. Pogba with a goal and then took us all the way to Pens. And here is then, guys, the Premier League table as it stands right now before this game against United. So, as I mentioned, Spurs dropped all the way down to fourth place right now on 57 points. Not in a good run of form whatsoever. But United in second, we're five points ahead of them. So, winning this would put us eight points clear at the top of this table, which is something I definitely want to happen. And you know what annoys me right now then, guys, is I can't actually sub Rodri off. I'm just going to hope that the computer... Will also replace him with Gundogan. Because that's who I want playing at CDM. As you can see, I press triangle, go to Gundogan. He just won't, won't let me change him. It's a glitch in FIFA at the moment. So, we have to hope right now that, um, you know, the game actually replaces him with uh, Gundogan. Who I, want, who I want to play there. 
So yeah, here we go. Taking on United at home as well. So winning this will put us eight points clear at the top of the table. Let's just go ahead, get United in their away kit. It shouldn't clash too much, should it? Or oh, maybe, maybe their third kit. Yeah, let's go with their third kit. Yeah, let's go with that. So here we go. Let's get into it. A win, eight points clear at the top of the table. Here we go then, guys. Let's get straight into this. And actually, who have we got playing at CDM? Gundogan. Okay, yeah. So FIFA have done the right thing. I put Gundogan at CDM. Of course, Mares facing his former club, guys. But again, this game, I'm just looking for a straightforward win, if I'm honest. But United might look to stop us in doing that. Here we go. Gundogan forward. Foden can see the run of Mbappe. Mbappe's got the pace. Knock it forward again, Mbappe. Roll on inside. Roll on again. Finish. Surely. What? Who blocked that? Varane. Oh, it was Mbappe. Oh, I thought Mbappe was injured then. I was gutted, but he's not. He's up. Um, I can't believe that got blocked. Not a bad pass. Not a bad pass. Rashford. And it's off the... Wow, okay, he's off the bar, the post. A bit of both, really, off the corner. Foden's making a run. Foden's making a run over the top. Foden, control it. Go on, finish it. Oh, De Gea. Oh, he's still in play. He's still in play, I didn't even notice. Okay, Mares into Cavani. The run, but Laporte cutting that one out really well. Here we go, De Bruyne. Can play that. Oh, okay, unfortunate. Man United not doing too bad in the attack here. A lot of their attack, though, is going down the right-hand side with Mares, who surprisingly... Not, well, not surprisingly, but... He's actually playing really well. De Bruyne plays it down. Sane running now. Come on, Sane. Here we go, Sane. Sane, just keep it again. The little cross is in. Oh, trying to get the little cross in there to Foden. Taking it to the line. But we have got a corner now. And we're going to have to aim towards the back post here. Ruben Diaz. Go on, Diaz. Get a good header on that. Unable to. Falls now to Bernardo Silva. Pass inside. Mbappe. Just trying to get it out wide. Mbappe inside. Foden once again. Oh, Mbappe's offside. Oh, he might be, might be back on. He might be back on side. How are we not scoring? How are we not scoring? That's two chances now where we just failed and it's blocked and Fred just kept... Oh, Sane, I thought we had it back there. Van der Beek plays it out wide. Mares doing really well once again, as I mentioned. Laporte, though, cut above the rest. Laporte, you know, in this game, really, really helping us. Mbappe looking for a runner. Okay, maybe Mbappe might be the runner. Play that inside. Foden, oh, it's just overhit in the end. Mbappe can feed it through once again. Mbappe with the overhit pass, man. Maybe I should start trying to go for the passes with Sane because I'm pretty certain. Well, who would have the higher passing, do you reckon? Sane or Mbappe? I'm actually not too sure, but there we go. Hard time. It's still no nil. We just haven't had it our way in this game. Oh, here we go. Bernardo Silva just going to hit that. Go on. Oh, De Gea with a save. We're looking to go up a gear now in this second half. You know, first half, we're sort of in first or second gear. Third year at times, but now we've just got to go straight to sixth gear, guys. And just make sure we get this win. There we go, Sane. Feed that through for Foden. Much better of a pass, by the way. Much better. Just drag that back. Drag that back. Oh, that's amazing. Play that inside. Finish that. Go on. Oh, my. How closer do you have to get to scoring? Like, seriously. How? Oh, Varane again with a block. Varane and blocking just seems to be his, his thing. And Lindelof coming on now. Who's he coming on for? Come on for Varane. Okay, I thought Varane played really well. Oh, that's a great ball. That is a great ball. That is a great ball. Mares. No. Laporte with a block. No. How has he scored that? How has he scored that? How? Like, we've had, what, three or four chances in this game? Yeah, every time blocked by a defender. This time, we do get it blocked by a defender, but still manages the overhead kick or volley. However it was. Looked like it was an overhead, but I don't think it was. Well, Cavani takes the lead in this game for United. You can see here again, the ball roller stopped, the pass, the shot blocked, and then, yeah. How? How are we allowing that to go in? Oh, okay, we might be uh, starting to go downhill a little bit here. Ruben Diaz with a block the first time. Cavani out wide. Van der Beek. Okay, what's going on? There we go, Cancelo just dealing with that. 63 minutes gone, though. Maybe look at making some changes, because United now, this is their, I think, second change. Cavani going off, Ronaldo coming on. Okay, so it's just got a lot harder. Here we go, Mbappe. Just going to play that back. Bernardo Silva. Just going to hold this ball up a little bit better and just keep possession, really, because United have had possession for such a long time. Gundogan. De Bruyne. Inside Foden on the turn. Go on. Oh, why was shooting? Why am I shooting there? Miles away. What am I doing? Go on, Jesus. Oh, I thought Jesus might have just been able to nick something there. We've got Jesus on uh, Grealish on, by the way. Rashford. Walker, that's great. Let's go. Let's just play that up. Come on, inside for Grealish. Play that pass. There we go. Come on. Come on, Jesus. Let's get you running. Sane's making a run. Sane's making a run. Play it out wide to him. Back inside again. Jesus. Got a runner. Grealish. Hit that. Oh, what? I thought that was in. I thought that was in. 
Imagine that to get us level. Imagine that to get us level. Grealish trying to feed it through. Jesus with a touch to finish, maybe. De Gea. Oh, no one in the middle to pick up the loose ball. Come on. We're creating chance after chance here. We just can't seem to get anything past De Gea. Laporte wins it back. Here we go, Gundogan. Come on. Mbappe back once again. Cancelo. Let's get Mbappe running inside. Need Jesus running ideally. Play that free for him. Okay, Mbappe looking for a runner. Play that. There we go. Out wide. Go on. Surely. Are you for real? Are you actually for real? Here we go. Inside. Nothing. Nothing. I don't think we're getting anything from this one. Oh, it falls now. Silva. Diaz. Go on. Diaz. Oh, story of my life. Absolute story of my life in this game. Go on. Get a tackle in. Just get a tackle in. Just get something in right now. Go on. Oh, I thought we could have got something there. Okay, this might just go from bad to worse. Madison could play a good ball across here to Ronaldo. Crosses in towards, I think, Mahrez. And imagine Mahrez put the nail in the coffin there. Imagine, he still could. There's still a chance here. United with a corner. Rashford, just clear it. Is that full time? Is that full time? And okay, still not full time by the ref, apparently. Still not full time. Full time, surely. There we go. Five minutes added on. United getting a 1 0 win away from home. But the amount of chances I created in that game, and every time a defender in the way. And here's Dan Hadley's table looks after that game then, guys. Now, as you can see, we do have a game in hand at the moment. Only two points ahead of Manchester United, but a win in that one would put us five points ahead as we were. So, again, shame we didn't get the win in that one again. I created so many chances, just failure to literally get it in the back of the net. Now, here we go then. We're back in the Champions League once again, guys, taking on Siglo Rovers. Now, I was going to go ahead and actually rotate the side in this one. But um, I'm afraid that if I, do do, if I do do that, then we might get knocked out. So, let's quick sim this. Or a replace. Let's get Gundogan in. And we should be getting a win in this. And there we go. It's close once again though. Why is it so close? A 3-2 win. Fair play to Siglo Rovers by the way. Put up a good fight. Foden, Sane open up the scoring. Mbappe with the winning goal. And now to our next one and guys. We have to get through this game before we find out who we've got in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Taking on Everton once again. Uh, Going to get Ferran Torres into the team. Gabriel Jesus, Jack Grealish, Owen Vindal, John Stones. So rotated it a little bit, but here we go. Sim should get the win here. And there we go. 3-0 win. Much, much better from us. Ferran Torres with two. Jesus with one. Okay, then here is how the quarterfinals in the Champions League is going to look like, guys. We definitely got the toughest game out of them all. Let's be honest right now. Taking on Bayern Munich. Barcelona taking on Sporting. Sevilla taking on Liverpool. AC Milan are still in this. They're taking on Real Madrid. So there is some teams in here, like Sporting, for example, who I wouldn't expect to get this far in the Champions League. No disrespect to them, but look at the quality teams. Um, who did Sporting play against? They played against United. Wow, okay. Wow. Ronaldo's former club knocking him out of the Champions League. Um, let's have a look. Sevilla beating Juventus and AC Milan. Who did they beat? And they beat Villarreal. So... Fair play. Now, here we go then into our next one, guys. Back in the Premier League right now. Take it on Brighton. We're at home. Rotate the side once again. Let's quick sim. Looking for another good win. And, okay, it's not a good win, but it's a, it's a win. And Mbappe coming off the bench and scoring the only goal. Another game then in the Premier League, guys. This time taking on Everton. But here we go. Let's quick sim this right now. Should be getting the win. And there we go. A 4-2 win. Mbappe did get a hat-trick. And no hat-trick for him. But two goals. Silva and Sane with the goals as well. Two goals for Gabamin, though. From Everton, so fair play. And for you guys wondering then, this is how the Premier League table is looking right now. As you can see, Liverpool have played a game more than us and they're on 63 points. But United, still only 5 points behind us, guys. So we're literally racing us until the end of the season. And now then, guys, we're going to go ahead and sim this game against Burnley. Now, after this game, we have got Bayern in the Champions League. So let's just get a win in this. Got some new players coming in. Got Torres, Gundogan and John Stones. Um, but here we go. Come on, simming away from home. Going to be difficult against Burnley, but we do get the win. Goals from midfield from De Bruyne and Gundogan. Well, here we go then. Let's get into the big games in today's episode, guys. Bayern over two legs. It's not going to be easy. It really isn't going to be easy. And Kingsley Coleman always scores against me. And I feel like always in every single career mode I do, I always face Bayern at some point in the Champions League. Like every single season. So here we go. Taking on Bayern. It's never an easy game against them. We've got our strongest start 11 out. Let's get straight into this. Okay, we can't allow Bayern to get off to a good start in this game, guys. Here we go. Bernardo Silva. Be good if we do. Mbappe running. Feed that through. Simple ball. Mbappe finish. Go on, surely. Wow. Blocked already. Blocked. We have the same story that like we did against United where we just constantly keep getting blocked. Fair enough, that was the goalkeeper this time. But if defenders keep blocking every shot, <laughs> not be impressed. Foden out wide to Sane now. Sane looking for something going on. Play that pass into Foden. Turn. Finish. 
blocked once again. <laughs> blocked once again. Fair play, though. I I'll take that. But when it's every single shot blocked, that's when we've got a problem. And of course, then, guys, I completely forgot. Sane facing his former club. How can I forget that? Um, yeah, again, looking for him to have a good game in this one. He'll know this by inside, of course. And as you can see, they went out and signed Rafa, who just offside there, to replace him. De Bruyne can feed that through for Foden. Does finish. Are you for real? Are you actually for real? How have we not got the shots away faster? That's what we need to be doing. Passes like that are a key. Like, that, that was perfect for us. Just, you've got to have the finishing touch there. You can't take too long on the ball. Oh, okay. As you can see, then we've got manager of the month, which is nice to see. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game pop up. Um, just going to be careful now. Just buying an attack. That was so easy for them. Why was that so easy? Oh, there we go. De Bruyne, let's go. Sane, inside. Foden's running. Find, try and find him, Rodri. Oh, he's found him. Mbappe's with him. Mbappe, again, no real support. Play that through for, for him. Go on. Oh, Nicolas Sula. Great block. Oh, here we go. Kimmich. Over to Rafa with a strike. Edison. Oh, my. Who was that? It was actually... It was, was it Lewandowski? Right in front of Edison's face. Um, are you going to see a replay of it? We are going to see a replay of it. And look, Lewandowski literally kicking his face off. Surely that's not allowed. Thinking about it. Um, corner now, Gipton Kimmich. Not a bad corner. And Edison with a catch, though. Oh, there we go. Bernardo Silva. Let's go, Foden. Let's go. Got to play that, got to play that right. Foden. Just got to turn him. That's amazing. Finish. Go on. He's in. And it's 1-0. What a goal. What a goal that is, guys. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. And it's 1-0 in this first leg. Away from home. Obviously, away goals don't count anymore. But still, it's nice to score the first goal away from home. And as you can see here, Bernardo Silva picks it up. Plays the pass in for Foden. Defender gets tight, but Foden turns him round on the spot. Then curls that one in. No, yeah, looked like he was nowhere near it. Oh, here we go. Rafa inside. Oh, Bayern going to score. Okay, there we go. Walker, just get it cleared. Into half time. There we go. Into half time. One that up. You know what? I'll take that, guys. But as long as Bayern now don't come out second half and score straight away. Because that would just undo everything we've done. Ronaldo Silva. Rodri. Again, we're on the front foot here to start the second half. Which is nice to see. Foden. Go on, Sane's free. Sane. Go on. Oh, he's just offside. I was, wasn't too sure if he's offside or not. Let's have a look at that because I want to see how close that is. Should have played it a lot sooner. And, okay, not too far offside. Oh, here we go. Wow, Edison with a save. Lewandowski with what could have been the equaliser in this game. Now Bayern got a corner straight away. They're running for this. They're absolutely running for this. Kimmich with a ball in. Sane with a header away. Silver on his own. Go on, Silver. Go on, Silver. Go on, Silver. Go on. Keep going, keep going, just keep going, keep going. Defenders just not doing anything about it. Silver, what is going on? Go on, Silver, and he's in. He's in in this game, and he's 2 0 now. Bernardo Silver just allowed to run the whole length of the pitch on his own. Uh, there was a player up there, I think it was Foden. But from that Lewandowski attempt to a corner to Silver just getting the ball and just running straight out of there with it. And it's now 2 0. Look at this. What went on there? That defender just didn't do anything. Didn't do anything, and there we go, it's 2 0. The Bruyne with a header. Here we go, Sane now. Pass inside is clear. Mbappe out to the left. Oh, Stabitzer just cutting that one out, guys. And I think right now we've got Liverpool after this. I do want to try and rest a few key players to make sure they can play in that. So, got to be careful with his subs. I think I've got Grealish on right now for De Bruyne. And okay, Bayern doing well. I had that clear. Okay, Edison punches it away. Oh, this isn't a bad ball. Kingsley Coleman now making a run. He normally always scores against me, guys. Always scores. And, okay, Cancelo stopping that from happening. There we go. Mbappe forward. Jesus now on with the fresh legs. Fern Torres is on. Trying to... What? Okay, Kingsley Coleman's injured. So, we're not going to see him in the second leg. I wondered what happened then. I was like, he's not offside, surely. And, wow, okay. Kingsley Coleman with an injury, guys. Um, I don't know why I'm acting so surprised. Because I don't think I know what went on. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, looks... <laughs> That does look pretty bad, to be fair. Torres forward. Jesus. Out to the right. Go on. Just get onto that. Oh, how have we not just carried on that attack there? And here we go now. Bayern on the counter. Goretzka. Ruben Diaz just cutting that straight out. Not messing around. Jesus. What was that about? What was that for a pass about? I've got a feeling Bayern might just score here. No. Got to be offside. And here we go then, guys. The full to whistle goes in this first leg. A good 2-0 win away from home. It's a perfect start for us in the quarterfinals. And here is then how the first lot of games did end in the quarterfinals. You can see Sporting and Barcelona ended 1-1. Liverpool getting a 2-0 win. Van Lan getting a 1-0 win against Real Madrid. Fair play. So Sporting, if they if they beat Barcelona in the second leg, they'll be into the semis, which is 
pretty amazing. Now let's get into our next game then, guys. Like I said, take on Liverpool in the Premier League right now. I think they're down in, I think, third or fourth place. Um, but again, should be getting a win in this. Let's quick sim. We're at home as well. And there we go. The one that win and Mbappe with the only goal in the game. Now, here we go then, guys. Into the second leg against Bayern. No messing around right now. We just want to get straight into this game. Get the job done. And get through into the semi-finals in today's episode. We're going to go with our strongest start 11 once again. Again, there's no reason to make any changes. And if I did make changes, I'd worry that uh, Bayern Munich might capitalise on that. So, here we go. Let's get into it. So, already 2-0 up then in the first leg, guys. Looking to us pretty much carry on from where we left off in that game, to be honest. Get another couple of goals in this one, and we're pretty much through. I am interested, though. Okay, there we go. Bernardo Silva. Um, eh, Calling my words out. We're away. Um, but I'm interested, though, to see if Sporting do get a win. And, okay, Bayern's defence once again. Nowhere to be seen. Foden. Mbappe. And it's 1-0. There you go. There you go. Bayern just are not up to the task. They're really not up to the task, guys. 1-0, 5 minutes in, Foden down the left-hand side, Mbappe switched inside, simple pass in towards him, and he leads the game 1-0 already. And again, Bayern just fell apart now, look at that, three players trying to chase Foden, and he just plays simple pass, cuts them all out, and Mbappe with a finish. Here we go now, Bayern looking quite interesting here, Rafa just had to get the ball in towards Lewandowski. Okay, he does that, he does that quite well actually, Lewandowski almost scoring, almost scoring guys, now they've got a corner. Quite dangerous from corners, but remember last game when we scored from a corner. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Foden, just run. Just run. That's what Bernardo Silva did. Okay, what did Mbappe running? But we've got a runner through the middle. We've got a runner through the middle. Play that. Play that again. Mbappe's free. Is he on side though? Score. Oh, should have got a little bit closer. Should have got a little bit closer with that. Oh, here we go then. It's the bit, sir. Thomas Muller, got to be careful once again here because, again, we're, we're, we're three goals ahead. But still, it's still anything could happen. And Edison just able to catch that. And let's go now on the counter. Not really a counter-attacking team, but it is working for us against Bayern. Sane over the top. Foden's running. Foden. Oh, Grimaldo just getting there before him. De Bruyne right to the right. Sane making a run. Going to try and low cross this in towards Foden. And it's almost perfect. Almost perfect. I might try that cross a little bit more often, you know, because normally in that situation, I'll probably just run it to the byline. But that's not a bad cross, actually. Not a bad idea. De Bruyne, out to the right. Sane, um, just keep that. Just keep hold of this. There we go. De Bruyne's free. Sane's making a run. Back to him. Sane, finish this. Oh, the deflection in the end. Oh, there we go. It's two. It's two. Is he on side, though? I'm sure he's on side. And there we go. It's two. Four and a over the two legs, guys. We had a corner with De Bruyne. Uh, he got headed away, but played it back out to De Bruyne once again. Got to the byline, crossed it in. Sane's in the middle, and he scores against his former club. And to be honest, over the two legs, he's probably performed better in the second leg now. Um, but yeah, look at this again. Headed back out to De Bruyne, who just took the corner to the byline. Low cross coming in, and no one there. No one in the middle, and Sane's there, though, to put it in the back of the net. Kimmich, that's not a bad ball. That's a really good ball. That's a really good ball. Rafa... A lot of their play does seem to go down that right-hand side of theirs. Um, oh, our right-hand side, their left-hand side, sorry. Okay, just keep this. Play that. Oh, okay, no. Mistake at the back. Mistake at the back. I repeat, mistake. Thomas Muller. Ah, oh, there we go. Laporte. Just clear that. Just... Wow, okay. Why can't we just deal with this? Thomas Muller. No. Rafa. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Buy him. I wouldn't say back into it because we've still got another three goals to go. We're about to go into our time, but... I just had a feeling they were going to get something there. I just had a feeling there was. And the amount of times they persist with going down that side with Rafa, something had to pay off in the end. And it does. Goretzka with the goal. And here's a look at the replay once again. Yeah, again. Look, Goretzka is totally free. Totally free. No one marking him at all. Okay, ball over the top from Bayern. In towards Thomas Muller. Just going to find Lewandowski in the middle. We're going to try and stop him. Cancelo does the job. And here we go. Play that. Oh, there we go. Mbappe. Let's go. Foden's making a run. Over the top for Foden. Go on. Might be overhit a little bit. No, it's perfect. Foden's controlled it well. Oh, just a save. Of course, De Bruyne picks it up. Pull that back. Uh, pass through the middle. Sane, go on. Oh, great defending. Just a bit uh, inside. Lewandowski, the simple pass. Edison would have saved, though. Bayern really seem to be pushing for it now in his last, what, 30 minutes of the game. And obviously, you can't blame them for that. The three goals behind. Can he score three goals in that time? I won't put it past them. And the header. Okay. Going over. Ball out wide. Here we go. Just a bit, sir. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Clear that. Play that again. Play that again. Why have we not played that again? No, no. It's Edison with a save. You know what? Edison 
The amount of goal scorers we've had in this 4-1, I still think Edison might just be up there with man of the match over the two legs because Bayern have had some decent chances now and he keeps denying them from scoring. Corners in. Edison once again. Bayern once again. This might be a goal here. Edison with a save again. Edison with another save. Here we go, Walker. Sane is on the... Oh, there we go. He's got... Oh, yeah, okay. I thought so. thought so. Walker got it again. No. Back up forward. Sane this time. Okay. Alfonso Davies not allowing anything going past him. But uh, as you can see, not long to go in this game now. We're just stopping Bayern from scoring any more goals. Muller up oh, once again. Goretzka scores again in this game. Okay. 4-2. Goretzka um, really trying, if anything. Lewandowski's been took off, by the way. I don't know who... The oh, Veghorst. they got Veghorst on up front. Lewandowski took off, but Goretzka with two goals in his second leg. And, uh, yeah, once again, only three minutes to go, though. We should be seeing this out. And there we go, then, guys. The fourth summer whistle goes in this one, and we're through to the semi-finals, guys. Only two more games to go before we get into the final. And let's take a look, then, who we've got in that semi-final game. Okay, then, here we go. Here's how the semi-finals is looking, then, guys. We're going to be taking on Real Madrid. Barcelona are going to be taking on Liverpool. Um, Quarterfinals, as you can see, Sporting did end up getting beat 3-1. Milan only just getting beat on penalties. So, fair play to Milan, you know, giving it to Real Madrid. Liverpool, though, getting a convincing win. Like I say, next, though, taking on Real Madrid. And here's a look, then, guys, at the Premier League table. And as you can see, we're seven points clear now at the top. United, I'm guessing, drew in their last game. Dropping two points, I'm guessing. Um, who did it draw against? And it was Everton. Okay, 2-2. Everton helping us out. So we're now seven points clear. But there we go then, guys. Gonna leave it there for today's episode. We've had quite a big episode in terms of the amount of games we've had to get through. And the same is gonna carry on in the next episode, guys. Because we're gonna have the two games in the semi-finals. We also have the finale of the Premier League. So we've got a big episode coming up next. And if things go well, well in the semi-finals against Real Madrid, then we'll have the Champions League final after that. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like down below in the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.